Okay, what is up guys? Today I have really something special that have dropped in from Wizards. Secret Lair drop series. We do know these has special art collectibles that people actually grab as part of the release sets. And we have the new series of Read the Fine Print here. We have Monster Movie Marathon. I'm really excited for this. This is classic movie monster posters. And we have the showcase for Midnight Hunt as well, which is the current expansion on Magic the Gathering. So without further ado, let's get it on. I'll be unboxing the showcase Midnight Hunt first and to really give you guys a primer of what can we expect in this set. I mean, well, you really know what you're buying into, but the idea here is you really need to see it, how it looks like in hand. So let's go. Oh man. Thank you for being part of Secret Land. This is pretty awesome. And it opens up like this. Very nice. Oh, look at the box itself. Secret Land drop series. And nice soft embossed text here. Let's open it up to take a look. What do we have? Secret Land drop series and here we go. Ja -ja. We have the lands that we have. Oh, it's quite a bit here. See the swamp, additional card here. Sadly, it's a bit bent. Mm. Not very good there in my opinion. But the rest of the cards, the mainstays here look pretty much intact. Let's go. This is our swamp and we have the Morlin Hot. Let's bring it up to the camera, slightly closer. Let's open it up to take a look. What do we have in here? This is pretty cool. We are unboxing the foil sets that we have here for you to really take a look at what these sets are. Oh, unboxing plastic. That's like the most awesome thing ever. Okay, first up, Morlin Haunt. Let's look at the foils. Pretty good. Pretty nice. It's a haunted house. Vault of the Archangel. Looks like it's all monochrome here. Nephilia Drown Yard. Desolate Lighthouse. Mm, wow, this is nice. Look at that. Sentencia, Blood Hall. Grim Backwoods. Cassock Wolf Run. Slayer Stronghold, Gavin Township, and the last card here we have the Alchemist Refuge. Okay, looking pretty good. It's all monochrome cards itself when it comes to the art, with the exception of your lands. You can see the green forest and the blue island mana that is in color. The rest pretty much all in um, monochrome. Okay, there we have it. That is the uh, set that we have for the Showcase Midnight Hunt Lands. And this is the swamp that goes along with it. It's a fawn as well, common swamp. Next one here, read the fine print. Let's see how this looks like. Opening up. Oh. The experience here, pretty awesome. Opening up the box. Here we go, Secret Lair Drop Series, another opening. Let's see what do we have here. Once again, opening up. Ah, a bit more colour this time. Okay, Demon Lord, Belzenlock. Do you have behind? Oh, Liana. There's a Planeswalker card. Dreadlord Hot General. Okay, looking pretty good. Whenever a creature you control dies, draw a card. Add one loyalty, create a 2 2 black zombie creature. Awesome for zombie decks these days. Each player sacrifices two creatures. Each opponent chooses a permanent they control of each permanent type and sacrifices the rest. This is a, fits very nicely within control decks for black. Black control. Okay, let's get into the cards itself. What do we see here in this box? These Secret Lab uh, cards are actually slightly way more premium than what we get in booster packs. And people really love them for the art in general. So let's see if the quality really matches up. Okay, here we go. Demon Lock, Bell Zen Lock, Flying Trample, 
Oh, 6'6. Six, six. Pretty expensive. It's legendary. Okay. Next one we have Gristle Brand. Legendary creature, demon, flying with lifelink. Wow, he's expensive. 8 mana. Okay. Next one. Li Liliana's Contract. When Liliana's Contract enters the battlefield, you draw 4 cards and you lose 4 life. In the beginning of upkeep, if you control 4 more demons with different names, you win the game. Okay, if you have all demons with different names, you win the game. So what are the other 4 that we have? Kotofet, so Hoarder, Flying, 6, six Drop. Whenever a permanent owned by another player is put in the, into a graveyard from the battlefield, you draw a card and you lose 1 life. Okay, and the last card we have here, Razakef, the Foul-Blooded. Flying Trample, pay 2 life, sacrifice another creature, search your library for a card, and put that card in your hand, then shuffle the library. Oh, awesome to have him at the start here and get all his buddies out. And then, get Liana to really complete the job. So we have 4 unique demons here in the Read the Fine Print Secret Lair Drop series. Pretty cool. Okay, here we go. Let's look at the falls one more time. This is pretty awesome actually. Black foils um, have a bit of an issue. Well, from my experience uh, unboxing all those uh, collector boosters, it wasn't very clear the prints but these are pretty quality. Oh, the gold is very nice as well. Okay, gold and purple. It's a very gold, purple and black motif that we have. Oh, I think my favourite here is the Demon Lord. Belzen Lock. Pretty nice. Diana's Contract. Okay. And I think this will be the most, my most favourite set here. Secret Lair Drop series from Monster Movie Marathon. This is going to be like classic movie monster um, posters. Let's take a look what do we have here. I'm seeing it once again. Thank you for being part of the Secret Lair. Secret Lair Drop Series. Okay, and let's unbox it. Oh, wow. wow. This is very different art that we see. Dismember. Target creature gets minus five, minus five. Four, guess one black and two colors mana. Wow, pretty hard to see this. Let's see what's the previous side. Rogue's Passage. Okay, it's a land. To this one side. It's like a movie, it's like those old school movie posters, yeah. like Nosferatu and such. Yeah. This is the old school movie poster designs. Okay, let's open it up, let's see what do we have. This member, target creature gets minus five, minus five. Until end of turn. Is it a vampire thing? No, it's a, it's a spell. What's a spell? Yeah. Wow, another one. Wow. Blasphemous act. This spell costs one less for each creature on the battlefield. What does it do? A blasphemous act that deals 13 damage to each creature. And it's a sorcery. 8 mana and 8 colors mana and 1 red mana. Hmm, pretty nice here. Next one here. Wow, wow. this is nice. Oh, this is quite nice, huh? <laughs> the beast within. This, co this controller creates a 3 3 green beast creature token. Destroy target. And it's a permanent. Wow. Ah. Oh, so you destroy a target and its controller creates a 3 3 beast creature token. It costs you 2 colorless and 1 forest. 1 green mana. Oh, this is actually pretty nice. So it's a beast under a bridge. You can see the villagers up here. Oh, pretty cool. The, 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 the fall here is awesome. And the last one here, only 4 cards in this set here. Graph Digger's Cage. Players can't cast spells from graveyards or libraries. Wow, okay. And it's a one mana artifact. Creature cards in graveyards and libraries can't enter the battlefield. Hmm, pretty awesome. There we have it. This is how the entire set looks like. I think this is really my favorite. What do you think, Zaki? Yeah, it's really highly stylized. It's something you don't really see in hmm. MTG cards. And compared to, let's say, the more generic art styles that we see here, this is very different. Oh, cool. This will look awesome as a poster. 
Okay guys, there we have it. Uh, these are all the new Secret Lair uh, drops that we got. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let us know in the comments. Please follow us and subscribe to this channel and we'll bring to you more MTG drops along the way. This is Gerald signing off. See ya!